Hey guys, Carter here. Got another video for you. This is going to be an instructional video review, kind of, just like the last one I did. Uh, once again, this is Chris Crawford Presents. This is the next DVD in the series that I've been watching. This is the Advanced ta Tactical Folders video. Uh, previously, I did a review on the Basic Tactical Folders video. Differences between these two, uh, this is using basic, basic uh, machine shop tools to build a knife. This one uses a little bit more advanced. I mean, it's still hand-driven tools, but there's, there's more advanced tools. And more importantly, both of these are um, demonstrated by Alan Alishowitz, which is why I have my awesome Alishowitz hide knife up here. Let me zoom out a tad. Uh, yeah, both of these are demonstrated by Alan. Main difference between the two, though, is this is the process he actually uses in his shop to do his folders. These additional tools he uses. Um, some of the some of the stuff is the same, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. So basically, the the additional things that this DVD goes over, and, and it really does continue off of this one because a lot of the steps featured in the original is kind of uh, glossed over. I mean, they show it, but they don't go into detail explaining it. it mainly focuses on the new stuff, um, and of that is using a lap master, which is basically a way to flattened steel. It's a machine, you load your uh, steel, in this case it's liners, um, and then you let it run and it'll flatten it out for you. Uh, but the main thing is the decal pantograph right there. And basically what that is, is it's a precision machine and it's really mind-blowing the fact that there's something like this out there. Uh, but basically on one station you set up your material and then the cutting bit, and then on another station you set up your pattern. And you basically outline your pattern on this side and then this side will cut. Um, it's not used for doing big rough cuts, it's mainly for cleaning um, up what you've done on the grinder and such. Um, and Alan actually uses a blown up pattern on the pattern size, so he does actually a two to one. So the pattern on this side is twice as big as the material that he's cutting. Uh, he also goes over using an edge finder, uh, which is just a, a way to find the precise centering of a particular material or object for drilling or um, milling. Um, and he also does blade grinding with a block. So in this video he goes over uh, freehand grinding, but in this video he talks about using a, a block. And uh, make sure to point out that it's best to learn to do it freehand before we move on to a block. But at any rate, uh, so this video is basically for the person that is building knives, maybe in their garage, uh, they're, they're somewhat successful, they're you know selling some pieces, and they want to expand and they want to get some better machinery that allows them to do more precise machining at a quicker pace. Um, and this will go over how to use some of these machines and some of these techniques. Oh, and uh, in this particular video, he uses, uh, or I'm sorry, he builds his tank flipper model right here pictured on the front with bolsters. So he does go over making bolsters. Uh, but just like the first video, it's, it's edited very well. The sound is great. The video picture is great. Everything is explained well. Um, it doesn't look amateurish at all. It looks very professional. Uh, they both actually, I believe, come in at the exact same running time as 2 hours and 26 minutes. Um, but definitely worth a watch, very cool, and once again, I'd recommend this video just to anybody that's into knives, just because I think you're going to find it very fascinating on how these things are made, um, and if you have any hope of or dream of making your own knives, particularly folders, this will kind of give you an idea of what's involved. This one here would be, you know, like I said, for somebody that's already producing some knives and want to learn how to get uh, into a higher tier of some of the machinery. So I'll put a link to uh, buy both of these if you're interested, uh, but definitely, definitely worth a look. All right, guys, take it easy.